everyone welcome back to my channel so today I thought I would talk about finches and this is peat and repeat um, I've had finches for years now and um, I had a whole lot of them and then I, I got rid of them because I I thought I was allergic to them uh, but I had like 10 of them at one time so um, but let me tell you about finches before you decide you want to get one and what you will need. So um, let's start off with let's start off with the cage, first of all. Um, well, very first thing would be don't just get one finch. Okay, they're flocking birds, so at least get two. Um, if you get a female and a male, the male are, the male ones are the ones with the orange cheeks. Uh, the females do not have orange cheeks. So if you get a female and a male, they will mate. And if you have a nest, they will try to nest in anything. They, they'll try to nest on the ground. <laughs> they'll try to nest in their food. Um, so what my suggestion would be is to get two females or get two males. I have two males. Um, although I feel bad for them because they want to mate all the time. And if I was, I've been thinking about getting a female and the, and the thing that you would want to do if you have a female in is either take the nests out or make sure you collect the eggs because the females will constantly lay eggs and hopefully one would get fertilized so so that's that let's talk about the cage okay so i have a large extra large flight cage and um so it, it's it's quite huge um this wouldn't be for a big parrot or anything because this these are thin. They'd bite right through these. So anyway, I, my suggestion is to get a large cage, as large as you can, because they do like to fly back and forth. And as you can see, it's really not that much flight form, but it is a lot better than these tiny little cages, which people think, I'm going to buy a small itty bitty cage for my small itty bitty bird. And it just doesn't, they just don't last long. And they're not, they're not that, you know, they want more, more room to fly. And so anyway, I have the largest one. And um, inside, I do have two nests. Now, because they're males, I don't worry about it. But really, these are, these birds, they get bored. And they constantly want to do something. So I tear up some paper. I have some, uh, uh, this is a napkin in it, in it, and it works really well. So I'll tear up a few pieces and throw it in their cage. And then they, they like to get it and, you know, put it inside their nest there. Um, the other thing is, is um, you want to make sure, obviously, that they've got food uh, and water. And the kind of food I get uh is from uh i'll tell you that in a minute what kind of food i get uh, but it does not have any dyes in it <clears throat> excuse me it's all natural i have a little small like turtle waiting type pool right there for the birds and that's for them if they want to take a bath they do like to take baths uh they'll take a bath either once a day or once every other day and then I will explain uh, some of their uh, treats that they like. Uh, they do like some mullet. And this is like a little swing here. And you put a little piece of mullet in there. And they, they kind of like that. It's something for them to do. So um, let's go. Uh, let's go uh, over to the food. And before I do, I just want to tell you, they are messy birds. So um, I clean every other day, and um, they will leave food. Now, you can get a food guard on the bottom, but I don't think that really helps with these kind of birds. 
Um, it still kind of gets out, and it's really kind of a pain for me. Anyway, for me, I, I think it, it's kind of a pain. But uh, anyway, so you will need to be vacuuming every other day and uh, cleaning their cage out every other day, or at least, you know, every two days for sure. Um, so you got to keep that in mind. Okay, be right back. Okay, so let's talk about their food. So the kind of food I get them is this um, Katie's, uh, Katie's uh, Supreme. And this does not have, so you make it focus here. It's all natural, grains and seed, and there's no artificial colors and flavorings in it. A lot of your bird seed uh, has, you know, you see this little bright colors like it's fruit or something. And, you know, it really isn't good for them. Um, okay, so the other thing, too, is I get a leafy green and herbs. Um, they love this kind of stuff. I also will um, put real uh, fruit in there, like some strawberries, or um, they like uh, fresh um, spinach, or, you know, anything kind of like that, greens. Um, you also want to get like a mineral grit. Um, I don't actually put it in their food because a lot of people put it in their food. Uh, I don't. I just put it at the bottom uh, with their, you know, usually with their leafy greens, whatever their treats are going to be. Um, and then you also want to get the mullet here. I get also the, the Katie's uh, mullet. Um, the other thing you want to get, and I don't give this to them all the time, I only give it to them like when they're molting or I see, you know, that they're molting um, and you want to put this mineral uh, or vitamin uh, solution into their water. So basically that's it. So if you're thinking about getting a, a finch, um, yeah, I suggest them. They're great birds. Um, if you get too many of them, they, they it can get loud. Um, you know, obviously not quite like a parrot, you know, but, um, they do like to talk a lot and sing. And so I find them very pleasurable, uh, birds and, um, yeah, these guys are kind of pecking at each other right now. Cause I think it's that time they, they like, you know, want to mate and, uh, yeah. So they get kind of agitated with each other, but, uh, anyway, for the most part, they're happy. And, uh, yeah, if you have any questions, leave comments on the, uh, on the bottom. And, um, uh, what else can I say about that? Um, just don't get one and put it in a small, tiny cage and make sure that if you do get a cage, make sure it's a flight cage. A flight cage is the long, it could be short and long. So they can kind of fly back and forth. So those are the kind of cages you want to get or get a, a big one like I got. <laughs> They're much, much happier. Um, anyway, so that's it. Hey, you guys be kind to one another and uh, thanks for stopping by. If you like this kind of uh, channel, uh, hey, love it if you subscribed and uh, we will talk to you soon. God bless. Bye-bye.